The Falcon 50 EX and Citation 10 are two of the most popular super mid-sized jets in the world. They're also two of the fastest. With a normal cruise speed of 511 knots, the Citation 10 is, in fact, the fastest mid-sized jet in the world. At 447 knots, the Falcon is significantly slower than the Citation, but still among the fastest super mid-sized jets available. And they're both beasts as far as ramp appeal goes. The wing shape of the 10 and the third engine of the Falcon 50 both scream power. But all that power comes at a cost. Jake, let's talk about the cost to fly these bad boys. Yeah, absolutely. You talked about ramp presence. I mean, you can tell something's a Citation 10 from two miles away. I mean, the engines look massive on these things. They are. Yeah, it's very impressive. It's the only time that Citations put Rolls-Royce engines on a plane, and those power much bigger planes than the yeah. Citation 10 I normally. I mentioned slotations when we talked about the Encore, just as a joke, and uh, I think Cessna took that to heart and they said, okay, we're gonna make the fastest non-military aircraft that you know we possibly can. And it, it held that title for a lot of years. Yeah, it did, it absolutely did. So you mentioned the speed, you're getting 450 knots in the 50EX, you're getting well over 500 in the Citation 10, which is just, you know, you strap missiles on the thing and it could be military worthy. Um, you know, but that, that comes at a cost. So for the 50EX, you may be going 50 knots slower, but you're burning 307 gallons an hour, which is still a lot of fuel. But compare that with a Citation 10, which is 375 gallons an hour. If you're getting, so if, you, if you're paying five bucks a gallon, you're paying eighteen, nineteen hundred dollars an hour just in fuel to fly the Citation 10, as opposed to fifteen hundred dollars an hour for the 50EX. Um, maintenance costs, though, with the with the 50EX, on average, as a national average, we tell you to put seventeen hundred dollars per flight hour in reserves for maintenance, and then for the Citation 10, you're looking at thirteen hundred. So on maintenance side of things, you're paying more for the 50EX. Um, insurance, you're going to pay more for the 10. Um, pilot training, you're going to pay a little bit more for the 50EX, but overall, direct operating costs for the 50EX are going to be more than the Citation 10. So if you go 100,000 miles in a year, in a 50EX, that's about 194 flight hours, 170 flight hours in a 10, which is super significant, right? Big difference. It is, but here's what you pay for the 50EX. You're going to pay six hundred and thirty thousand uh, dollars per year in direct operating costs. Five hundred and thirty for the Citation Ten. Hmm. So it just spends more time in the air, which means you speed up the acceleration of what you need to do maintenance-wise. Um, fixed costs. You're going to pay a little bit more for the Fifty EX. Um, Four hundred and ninety versus. 460, so 30, 30 grand more. This is national averages, so we can't, we can't pinpoint, but that's where they stand uh, operational cost-wise. Well, the Falcon does have more than 200 extra miles on its range than the Citation. The Falcon 50 EX's range is about 3,300 nautical miles, while the Citation 10's is 3,050. The Falcon's typical configuration also has room for nine passengers compared to the Citation 10's eight, and the Falcon has an extra 100 cubic feet of cabin space that comes from a cabin that's three inches taller and seven inches wider, so a little more elbow room. Visit wepush10.com resources to learn more about current market values and find even more valuable resources for buying or selling an aircraft.